So, hey, everyone, Jamie Phillips, Action Auto Parts. Well, uh, the first video I done this morning was when I had a uh, big tandem load of white rock delivered for the driveway uh, here at the farm slash junkyard. And it done, uh, it done pretty good. Mike does a phenomenal job spreading it. So I'm going to try to get him to come back once I get all these cars moved and do the garage spot area and then if the monies will allow it, get him to come back and bring another load to go back through there and leave some so I get a little bit of bobcat work done. I can have some more spread here. But I had, in the video I was talking about, I was taking five converters off to sell them. And they was two, been back here in this building forever. And I ain't know nothing about them. Didn't, couldn't remember what they came off of. But they were empty. Um, but so I had three instead of five. So I was hoping I could pay the big chunk on my on my uh, gravel uh, bill. It was uh, four hundred eighty two dollars and twenty three cents, and the three converters brought. If you can see it or not, uh, two thirty six. So I paid for half of it. That's not bad. So I appreciated that little gift the uh, two of them were laying in that arcadia and then i bought one for from a neighbor up the road so made doubled my money on that one and then that 136 came off the what i paid for that so anyway i'm sitting here earlier today and a guy calls and says hey i've got this jeep patriot says so start yelling every time i do a video i got this jeep vape patriot they thought the transmission was bad, but it was the shifter cable was loose, and they didn't junk the title. And so he brought it up here. It's really not a bad-looking vehicle. And they drove it off the trailer and drove it right there where it's sitting. Uh, of course, he wanted to keep his battery, and that's understandable. Uh, I'd had one of these Patriots like a couple years ago, and it parted down a lot to the point that it was one of them I just went ahead and I was crushing out a bunch. I went ahead and got rid of it. So, uh, it's got the pleather, plastic leather, whatever. It might be real leather, I don't know. And he said there were some extra parts. There's like uh, a pair of taillights and headlights, but they don't go to this. And he said, they was in it when I got it, so I'll just leave them in there. So, it's a... Um, Oh wait, oh said my wait, I had to go back and look again. But really uh, for the age, it's kind of a clean, clean little old vehicle. But uh it'll sell parts. So I'm gonna get it posted here pretty quick. Uh since it don't really need to be cleaned out other than I'm gonna take those extra car parts out so people can see the seat. Oh my god, I'm so sorry, y'all. Um, uh, so they can see the back seat and stuff on it and See if I can't find a battery around here and put on it and I'll drive it up into the junkyard. I need to get both of these moved up into the junkyard. And eventually the Mercur, I haven't done anything with it yet as far as listing or, or anything. Uh, there's a couple things on it that, and thanks to my little brother, I wouldn't even think about it, but should I choose to keep them, it has the... Uh, four barrel intake for a four cylinder and the turbo which i've got a 2300 at home for my 77 pinto cruising wagon so that would be handy to put on that and then i got this uh, turbo coupe engine it's supposed to be for a uh, 88 t-bird and it's got the pretty cool aluminum valve cover on it which would be different but i don't know so this one here i still got to move it but i don't know where i'm gonna put it just yet so, there again, it's been a little bit slow, but I, I sold those converters, which made for a good day within itself when you don't have other expenses coming out. And uh, so then I bought this, and hopefully this here will start making me some monies back pretty quick. So I'm going to uh, wrap this one up, and uh, I've got a, my wife had sent me a, a text uh, on some furniture. We kind of need another couch. And uh, love seat for our den because uh, ones we got wore out. And I don't really want to go buy new 
right now because if we get to build a house here in a year or so, it may not fit right, it may not, you know, so just gonna try to ease by till we get the new house and then buy something that, that fits it better and it's more uh, designed and appropriate for it. So there you go, uh, got in a Jeep Patriot and, uh, and got in a load of rock for the driveway. Still got some humps down there at the end. I may hang around, cools off this evening, and get a shovel and rake or something out and try to get that out there smoothed out. But uh, hope you're having a great one. Give me a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe. Catch you in the next one.